Okay, we got another underground flashlight test review, and this is new item. Well, let's let's see what's in the box. So this is a Sofren C8A, and it has a nice positive action switch on the back. And you temporarily push it to change the mode. And it's got a nice big head. And we'll see how it does for uh, lighting this drift up. This should be a pretty cool mine. Looks like there's been a fire in here at one time. Still got the brass in board. So let's go check this mine out and give this flashlight a try. See how it works underground. Yeah, look underground and see what critters. Yeah, look for snakes. Well, snakes, but also see deer tracks in this. At least it's floating out. Now. That's a good thing. You know, it's got an opening at the top. That was the last guy that was in here. Boy, that's deep. Look at how deep of a hard hat that is. Yeah. He was deformed, that guy. He was? Well... <laughs> so is this the loose stuff right here that we have to be careful with? Well, uh, there's a patch right. farther up, I think. But we got the wind blowing pretty good, so can we do that? This was put in 1944. Or maybe earlier in 1944. Actually, the color temperature of this light's pretty good. It's not all. See, this is the, uh, what I was talking about. No, this just goes in. This is not the right one. There's another one. This one goes into that room. You go around, it goes to it. Wow, there's still lighting in here, huh? Yeah. What is that, a low-pressure sodium? Yeah. This is the powder I'm talking about. See this? Yeah. Move it. Try and get these hot spots out of here. I got something on me that's creaking. So here we go. Let's see. Okay. This is the powder I'm talking about. This is the powder. I'm carrying something that's creaking. It's quite annoying. Let's see, what does this say? To use phone, turn crank, to ring, pick up handset, push button, and talk. Release to listen. Boy, that's... Wow, they got 
They're using telephone poles in here. Yes. Where? Oh, right here. Right on your right, behind the wall. Here, and you can look at that in. Okay. This is interesting. They they got. How to use a fire extinguisher? Oh, here's uh, maps. Mm -hmm. Sound adhere to alarm, evacuate area. Oh, look at that old, what is that, metal halide lamp? Yeah. And when you're up here, that first ladder. You know what? I'm going to get, let me get the big light out. Hold on. Socket set. Oh, check that out. Yeah, what is the point of that for barring down the barring ceiling? Down they got a. They just beat it in there, it looks like. Yeah, beat it in and weld it on. I dig that metal halide lamp up in there. You know, Frankie, you met yesterday. He was the one that wired all this back in the day. Was someone sleeping in here? What's the hay? What was that? Oh, okay. Hey, we could make this into an Airbnb. Liberty Hall. So it says W and it's pointed up. Was there any tungsten in here? I love that fan. See, they were back back filling here and this kind of gets smaller and smaller and smaller and faces out right there yeah it just faces out let's try that black light yeah maybe down here well i know that we did it along the walls and you could see the old water and the new this is, uh, uh, what do they call it? Shortwave. 
So here it's it's kind of dim. Totally, totally black out in here. Yeah, it's dark. There's a little something right there. We're red. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Does anyone have false teeth? Almost. No. That was a good question. I just never had anyone else. David, you have any false teeth? No. Or uh, fillings, like the new fillings? The... No. Because you can. all mercury. You should, you should, here, where, where are you? We like the dance party. Okay, we're gonna look at this under. Look, look at it, look at it in the phone. Yeah. Oh, I see that. So, that is probably tungsten, the white. And then uh, the red. Since this is shortwave black light. Ooh. Yeah, it's actually way brighter in the phone than it is the uh, in person, huh? Mm -hmm. I forget what red is. Calcium carbonate, maybe? Is there any of that no, in here? that'd be clear. Of course, I don't know what you're looking at with the, in the daylight, you know. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, turn it back on. You can use it right here. Uh, yeah, that's reddish. Okay, go ahead, turn it off. So yeah, the white is red. The white shows up as red, and then right there is whitish blue. Turn it back on again. So yeah, this is this area is whitish blue. So yeah, this might be a calcium carbonate. At least I think that. I don't remember. I wish we could fire these up because they give the crappiest monochrome light. I should have brought my inverter. We could have plugged them in. We don't have a power up here. I do in my backpack. That's kind of cool. So you think this stuff's from the 40s and 50s? Or it could be stuff that was in here when, this is where they were drilling last when I got here. There was a jack drill in here. Ooh. And we took most of it back out of here. Took all the, most of the drill steel. You know how we did it? We drilled the coal out in here. Wow. Ooh, there are Easter eggs. See, it's a good thing I brought those uh, peeps. Yeah. yeah. So still, everything's left from back in the day. Somebody's shirt. See, that's a pretty good light. How light light? Diesel tech, diesel fuel improver. Marking paint. Because they're drilling here, so it splatters everywhere. Oh. They were drilling down like this. Down in to down in to see if they find a void. So they put this here and then the drill sits on it and then they. Uh, they actually had this set up when I came here nine years ago. It smells fresh. It does smell fresh. You can see the water droplets on the pipe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's so, some kind of uh, wire goes through.
VHS tape. Oh yeah. Or not the tape, but the wrapper. This would be a good place to do a 360. I got this stoped out pretty good. Safety glasses. Check out the dust on them from them hanging there. That's kind of cool. Look at the apron. More safety glasses. Evacuation plan, ventilation plan. Yeah. M Shaw stuff. So back to the Sofren C8. What is this thing? Sofren C8A. 18650 powered. Uh, it's actually pretty good. If you look at it, the spread is pretty good for these drifts. So there's a blower there. The old hemp rope. You nervous, sir, Steve? Looks like he's shaking. He might be right here. I don't know which way to go when I get here, though. Why? Well, it, is it a drift? Well, it's kind of. It's more like it's a big theme. You know what? There is air. If I go yeah, I feel, I feel a little air coming down. Yeah, there's air blowing through here. You can see yeah, it. Look at the, the, the dust. Yeah, oh. I like dust. Uh, you want to go? Yeah. Go for it. I'm going to go this way because it's safer for you guys. Okay, we're coming up. Ooh, that's not what I want. Okay. Looks like... Ooh, that's a little soft right there. Be careful. I he was talking about him, him I know. It's a little stoptastic. Yeah. Ooh. Does it actually go through or is it? 
It looks like it's set in there good, baby. It's got to have the head down through the... Yeah. Yep, it is. And it looks like it blows the other way, right? Or does it come blow out in, in here? Or does it, could it be going the other way? And sucking air out of here down below. Um, you know, whichever way I say it is, it'll be the other way, but it looks like that's the way it spins. So it would blow air down. Yeah, I would think of that blowing air down. So it's sucking the shit out of here, the dust or whatever. Yeah. Boy, the bearings aren't dry, are they? No. No, it's been pretty good. I think it's solar. Oh, solar. Yeah, that makes sense. Jeez. <laughs> so where was that air drive coming from that we saw? Oh, that's coming from the natural end, or the main tunnel at the top of the mountain. The this has got a punch. That like comes air. to this room? I don't know if it comes to this room. That's really it has to. Cold up there, yeah. Hold on, we'll get to get a... So seriously, like five minutes later, this thing is still turning. What was that on his shoulder? You know, maybe there's some natural... You know what, there's got to be natural airflow pushing that down, moving it. It'll probably keep moving like that all day. Because it's hotter outside, so the air's flowing in the top, cooling off, That's and going down. Yes. So that will continue to turn all day. That's your wind generator. I thought it was quite crazy. Now, when you go back across and pass the ladder, yep. it keeps going that yeah. way. But there were so many, you know, I hate to kick a rock. So we, as we're all up here, we're not going to be dropping something on the guy at the bottom of the ladder. Yeah. Little Debbie snack cakes? No, the flash bulbs are Oh, little so Debbie many. Little Debbie flash bulbs. Blue dots. Flash cube. Mm-hmm. Little Debbie snack bulbs. <laughs> Little Debbie snack bulbs. I love my false floor. Here you go, Steve. So I wonder, yeah, see the arrow keeps pointing that direction, see that? Jeez, glad this cable's here. Yeah, me too. Look like an airline going that way. Little Debbie snack bulbs. We have a snack bulb. You gonna eat it? No. Very tasty. Natural habitat. Imagine living in a time and having to use that and being all excited when the ones come out that you can rotate and get four flashes out of. Jeez, man. Is that for? Uh... 
Flash, like photography. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that the one where it would go like that? Yeah, the whole thing explodes. Yeah. Hey, when I started this, we had I had a 35 millimeter Canon camera, and you only got imagine this like 25 shots, and then you had to take it to the store and have it developed. Ooh, look that. Here, keep light that ladder up right there. Ooh, that looks. Come on, focus. That looks crusty. Wow. There's a cable going up past it. See? Yeah, look at, he's up there. Turn your light off. Yeah, I see your light. Yeah, little Debbie snack bulbs. It goes up in these. It what? This ladder I'm on goes up to your light. Yeah, that ladder doesn't look too good, though. Yeah, that one you're on. I'm going to come over there because I want to video it. It goes down to the, uh, there's like a shoot down there. Yeah. So they take the yeah. bodies off. Oh, okay. That's why they're small. <laughs> yeah. Little Debbie snack bulbs. Are you? I know. That's the thing. Like, And that little ladder is just a little short ladder. Did you go up that ladder? I went up, but it just it just dead ends up there. And I see your light, and I don't see where it goes to. Here, I have to. Take a leak? Yes. Watch out the wall. Little Debbie snack bulbs. <laughs> yeah, I went to that ladder. I climbed up some. But when you shine your light here, that's all we're doing is going up over that hump down this side. All right, I'm up uh, at the top of this ladder, and I could go up to the top of this ladder. The air is blowing down from up there, but I really don't want to climb this because that goes down 50 feet to where they are. Uh, you know, I, I, I believe I could climb that, and there's probably a drift there, drift level, but, yeah, I'd rather not. I don't know the condition of this cable. It could be rotten and rusted at the top, and I start to load it up, put my weight on it, and then it just snaps, and I go falling backwards, and, you know, I'm going to end up all the way at the bottom. I'd rather rope it and try and come in from the top if we could find that. But, uh, yeah, let me go back down. All right, let's see. Yeah, catch me, will you? I'm going to make sure you got your foot in there. Okay, your foot's good. Ouch. I got that. I got the ladder attached on there pretty good. Yeah, he, he tightened it up. Just you hold on to that. Yeah, right, you're there. That's what's coming down. Two inches. No, no up, 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 up. All you up. want is you're going to hold right there. <laughs> God damn it, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> all right, left foot down on that thick board. You're good. Don't step on that flimsy one. Yeah, you wouldn't want to fall down that. No, you really wouldn't. No. Now use your other hand. Yeah, hold on to that. Is he smoking in here again? Yep. Did he have to calm his nerves before he went across the bridge of death? Yeah, I had to. A little nicotine buzz there. That's not as scary as that. Just that is the way Jim. No, yeah, the way you know he. Okay, we're working our way back down, one at a time. This is a fairly. Huh? No, I'm just videoing. It's a fairly large, stoped out area. Oh, 
where I was at the top of that ladder was like up in there somewhere. Yes, this does work its way up to the surface, but it's just a Swiss cheese mine. It's not really defined. You can see there's another cable coming down here. Oh, that's the one that runs down the main shaft. So originally they started at the top with a shaft and then later they punched the haulage at it in below, start dropping the stuff in and taking it out. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna just walk all the way out. I'll walk out with it in wide and we'll just see how it looks. Kind of a little bit of a hot spot there, but it's okay. Right here is that cool fan. Hot spot there. Let's see, let's do this. I'm just playing around. It's a little dusty if it seems a little soft and out of focus. There's the ore chute and the ladder we went up and came down. There's the entrance. Let's jump down to this one. And we're back to the cool helmet. Real deep hard hat. I wonder if there's any kind of... So anyway, that was a little demonstration of the, uh, did it get trashed already? Yeah, it looks like it did. I dropped it. So that was a little demonstration of the Sofren C8A 18650 powered. It's kind of a spotlight. It's not adjustable, but hey, it works okay. Uh, can't knock it too bad. I actually kind of like it. I, the color temperature is good. You know, it's not uh, horribly bluish white, but it's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a neat little flashlight. 18650 powered. Uh, link in the description below if you'd like to pick one of these up off Amazon. I'll recommend it. Why not? It's pretty cool. 
I'll give this mine a 6 out of 10 as far as the rating goes. Kind of cool, kind of modern, small, not real big. Some cool kind of modernish artifacts. That little hard hat right there is kind of cool. The fan was kind of cool. Some stoped areas. Uh, yeah, really small though. Some cool stuff though. So definitely a six, 6 out of 10 on this one. I like the brass board. Okay, a little bonus footage here. Let's see what we got here. A lot of insects. The air is blowing in, so it has to exit lower. So we got a little false floor bridge thing here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the air is blowing in and down, so it's got to exit lower. Yeah. Oh, it goes up to the surface. You can see there's light coming in there. Blackout. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. But there's quite a bit of air blowing down below. Oh, yeah. I can feel it. Yeah, I'd like to get down to the bottom and... Does it go on down in there? What? Does it go on down in there? It's it's got to continue down because there's air blowing down. Yeah. It's a natural cavern. This is a natural cavern, and if you shut your everybody shuts their lights off. Okay. Okay, I'll come in a little bit farther and let everybody get in here. Okay. Sorry. If you shut your light off, you can look up there. See the light? Yeah. That's the natural entrance. Oh. Mr. Museum, we have a paleontologist. That you that works, he's from Riverside the University of down there at Riverside. Oh, yeah. And he comes and gives paleontology talks in Death Valley. Oh, 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 yeah. And then he works with that the Berkeley out of the Berkeley uh, field. Okay. Yeah, just shine your lights around like you're looking around. It's pretty wild looking. Don't don't blow it up into something it's not. Just do it. You you're gonna psych yourself out and freak yourself out. Or if you just do it, it's not a big deal. Nice. 
Please start. I read the book. Oh, isn't that a ladder? So we're calling this the crusty prostate cave because up there on the top we got the crusty prostates. At least they haven't started talking about the emissions modifications to their Jeeps yet. Yeah, I took my catalytic converter off because it makes it more powerful. Yeah, well, I put a catch can on my PCV because my Jeep is direct injection. Come on. So are you considered a millennial? Uh, I'm considered the eldest group of millennials. Mm, so the most effective. You could say that. The most refined when it comes to living in the basement, smoking weed all day, and not having a legitimate job. I can't speak for those because I'm not one of them, but something like that. I think you're, I think you're on it. Okay. So you're not accomplished at that? I'm not accomplished. I'm accomplished in other ways, like productive ways. Ways where, you know, we select few of us decide to move forward in life instead of down at the basement in our parents' home. So you got a few years before you buy a Jeep. Um, yeah, I don't understand that. That's, that's odd. What is that? It's like all off the... Oh, it's a Jacob's Ladder. Yeah. It, yeah, there's another one of those and it like goes that, that I was way. on in a different mine. Yeah, they're Clerco Twerculicious. They look like they would Quirko Twerculicious. Quirko Twerculicious. Quirko Twerculicious. Yes. Close enough. So you can quirko twerculate. I don't know about all that. I'm kind of stiff. Let me see that. Flashlight? Hang on. So I just wonder if that goes down and out. See, we need the cigarette right now to... Yeah, you really do. Actually, you know what you need to pick up since you're kind of millennial-ish? You need to pick up vaping. No, that's okay. I'm good. I, I prefer not to be addicted to anything. Although I am addicted to caffeine. I can't tell you that. But... Starbucks? That's like... At least the, at least the uh, vape is microprocessor controlled. Right. And that's important. Oh, I'm pro. Uh, we're we're done. The false floor of death. That's where we were down there.